has the L. Reuteri yogurt fad not worked for you? Or for that matter, any fermented foods or even probiotics? If so, then join the club. It's no surprise when you understand the biochemistry. I have several technical videos discussing this, which I'll highlight in this video. If you're new, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram and Facebook as The Microbiome Expert. But first, let me acknowledge that some people do feel better when taking fermented foods or probiotics. But often, this benefit is temporary. My consultations are full of patients who have tried fermented foods and probiotics in the past, either going downhill immediately or feeling better temporarily only to go downhill later. So let's take a look at some YouTube comments from my channel with similar stories. Here we have this comment which states that the L. Reuteri yogurt was a total failure. This comment also states that the L. Reuteri fans are bashing me in their online group and that all the L. Reuteri failures, and there are many, those are my words, should be redirected to me here. Again, if you've had success with fermented foods and or probiotics, congratulations. I'm not here to discount your stories. All I'm saying is that one, your success may be temporary because two, it doesn't make sense biochemically when compared to promoting the beauty producers, and when you consider the dysbiotic gut is a high lactate, high lactobacillus environment. And three, I talk with tons of people who have had bad experience with this approach. To include these other two comments from two other L. Reuteri yogurt videos I posted, one being a testimonial from someone who also did not fare well with this approach. And fermented foods, in my opinion, are an especially stupid idea in those with SIBO, as this comment claims that their SIBO was caused by fermented foods, which I find quite possible. Let's think for a second. What's the definition of SIBO? small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So then, why would you want to put some extra bacteria from fermented foods or probiotics into a SIBO environment? I just don't understand that thinking. For more on this, I invite you to view these three technical videos. And again, in this comment from one of my videos, we see that fermented food did not work for this person either. The comment goes on to state, quote, I kept reading that this yogurt was my cure. We need to know that one fix isn't the solution for all of us. Again, if you've had success with the probiotic or fermented foods approach, great. I would just caution you that it may not be a good long-term solution. Here are a few more videos on the topic with other bad experiences in addition to the ones included in this video. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and recommend to friends and family. Also, if you're feeling extra generous, hit the super thanks below. And another recent comment here states that the Dr. Davis yogurt made me sick. So if you're trying this, or another fermented food, or probiotic, and you're not getting better, it's not your fault. It's not in your head. There's not something wrong with you. It's not that you need to give it more time, or that you're doing it wrong. It's that it doesn't make any sense, and many people are in your boat. Open yourself up to a different philosophy, one which nourishes the good bacteria who have been sidelined. How so? By things like radical diets. As we see here in this comment, the yogurt didn't work here either. But this person is holding on to the carnivore ideology, which I understand. When you go carnivore, it's food avoidance. The dysbiotic immune dysregulated gut will react more and more to foods over time, especially plant foods, which is why this diet seems like a good idea. But it's not. High protein fermentation feeds bad bacteria. So while in the short term you get symptom relief, in the long term you continue down the path of inflammation. Here are some videos to view on this topic. And lastly, we have this recent comment, which also highlights the frustrations of fermented foods and probiotics, and in favor of trying my philosophy, which is, instead of radical diets, fermented foods, probiotics, and bug killing with antibiotics and or natural antimicrobials, 
my philosophy focuses on driving significant change in the environment of the microbiome with the use of properly blended and dosed prebiotics, combined with other ancillary supplements to address bile acid dysmetabolism and immune dysregulation. You need to watch my technical videos. You're not going to grasp everything immediately. There's a lot to take in. But as you hear the same themes repeat themselves, eventually it will click. At which point, I invite you to try one of my protocols or schedule a consultation with me. And I welcome your comments to this video. Perhaps one day, I'll post yours. And I should also note that I just created an account with the distributor Fullscript. It's for U.S. customers only, which allows for easier and less confusing product fulfillment and a 10 to 15% savings on the products I recommend in my protocols, as well as any other health products you may use. With that savings, the protocol will pay for itself in just one order. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, somewhere around here, you can go to my website where you can schedule a consultation with me. You can also view the protocols. And here, you can watch the next video.